The polar bear. The polar bear also called polar bear. Which has a constitution and a metabolism that allow it to live on ice flows. However, global warming is causing the drifting ice sheets essential to bears to melt. Let's discover this powerful mammal with thick white fur that is so critically endangered, and which could disappear completely within a hundred years. The polar bear. It is an omnivorous mammal. But its diet is mainly of animal origin. The polar bear is one of the largest carnivorous mammals on the planet. It feeds on seals, walruses, fish. To hunt, the polar bear settles on the drifting ice sheets allowing it to move. Its place of life is limited to the Arctic zone, and more particularly to the pack ice which surrounds the North Pole. Its constitution allows it to survive in this icy environment. It is perfectly insulated by its dense fur and a thick layer of body fat. Under normal living conditions. Polar bears can live between 16 and 30 years. It is an extremely powerful animal with massive build, firmly planted on large legs. Its claws allow it to grab its prey. It has a short tail, small ears, and a head that fits into a rectangle. Its pristine white fur in summer and winter allows it to go unnoticed on the ice flows. Only his pads and his eyes are black. Just like its skin by the way and its prominent muzzle that it masks with its paws during hunting periods so as not to be spotted by its prey. At birth, the polar bear cub has an average weight of 650 grams. When he reaches adulthood, male polar bears can measure up to 3 m in length and 1.50 m at the withers for an average weight of 500 kilograms. However, some specimens can reach the ton. The female, twice smaller than the male, is a maximum of 2 m long and hardly exceeds 300 kilograms. Polar bear reproduction it is only from the age of four that the male polar bear reaches sexual maturity while the female can have cubs as early as three years mating takes place in june the gestation period is only 55 days however thanks to the phenomenon of delayed implantation the embryo is carried for five months so that the bear gives birth during the month of december she only carries two little ones at the same time and can start a new family only once every three years. From birth to the age of four months, cubs breastfed by their mother are confined in a den. Then at the end of this period they discover the outdoors, still in the company of the bear. She teaches them how to dig a den. To use drifting plates to hunt and feed. This education lasts about three years. After which the young bears, now autonomous, leave their mothers. Thanks to the high fat content of breast milk, bears grow considerably in their first years of life. The polar bear is an endangered species. The polar bear has fallen victim to melting sea ice in the Arctic Ocean so much that it is now on the red list of endangered species. This animal has a metabolism perfectly suited to life on ice. But polar bears cannot survive long without ice. According to studies conducted, there is much to fear that these endangered species will completely disappear in less than 100 years. Estimates are alarming, of the 22,000 polar bears currently recorded, 14,000 of them may have disappeared in about 30 years. Rising temperatures negatively affect seals, which are part of a polar bear's diet for prolonged fasting periods. In addition, a long-term traveler, the bear can cover great distances, more than 70 kilometers in a day. In one year, certain individuals of Svalbard, which one could follow thanks to their radio collars, traveled up to 3,200 kilometers. It is estimated that, during their lifetime, these mammals explore an area equivalent to half of France on average. But some stay for years in the same region. The search for food is not the only cause of their movements. Thus, when the ice melts in summer, bears follow the retreat of the pack ice to the north. In winter, on the contrary, they head south. In the fall, females undertake long journeys to traditional birthing areas. They dig their own dens in snow banks and stay there for nearly five months. Living in lethargy on the reserves accumulated during the previous months. 
but their body temperature hardly drops more than 5 degrees Celsius. And they can awaken if disturbed. During this long sleep, they only rarely urinate and defecate. Or swallow their feces, which keeps the den clean. Apart from the brief period of spring matings. The two sexes live apart. During the Arctic summer, which lasts only two months. Some bears do not go north. But remain on the coasts, especially in Hudson Bay, Canada, where they lead an indolent life. In search of the meager pittance offered by the tundra after the thaw. They can then penetrate up to 150 kilometers inside the sparse forests of the north. But it is exceptional. Sterile males and females spend the winter on pack ice or coastal ice, in areas where seals are plentiful. The youngest and the oldest hibernate, a few days or a few weeks, never more than two months, in dens similar to those of the females. In the tundras of Ontario and Manitoba, Hudson and James Bay, summer dens, simple excavations dug to permafrost, ground level always frozen, have also been reported to keep cool. The chin, 